Laura joins the orphans in All New Wolverine issue 30. Waking, Logan finds himself freed of the Muramasa bullet thanks to Laura and Gabby's quick brain surgery. Gabby tells Darkin his plan to become a mutant GPS tracker was a stupid plan, but it worked in the end. Deathstrike wants to kill the orphans, but Laura says that they won't be killing anyone, and she explains that the orphans of X have a point, and that everyone in the room is responsible for them because they took the one they loved and by just killing them it proves them right. Calming Deathstrike's anger, the group move through the building, eventually finding the floor all of the orphans are staying on. Sensing how many they are, they ready themselves to attack them, but Logan comes up with a plan, getting everyone to cut the floor's support beams, bringing the orphans to them. Knocking out the surprise men, they leave one conscious and they interrogate him, demanding to know where their communications room is and how they contact each other. The man doesn't know any of that since they are all delivered emails. Looking over the man's emails, they discover the orphans of X aren't some crazy zealot organization, but some kind of support group, sharing each other's stories and coping with their losses. The man says that it all started after Roosevelt Island, where Laura saved 12,000 people. The man says that they had to watch as everyone hailed Laura and Darkin, two killers in their eyes, as heroes, and their leader, Henry Sutter, says it was the final straw. Laura knows who Henry is, as he is the son of the man who created her, and when she broke free and fell under the command of someone else, she was supposed to kill Henry and his family, but left the boy alive. Laura knows they need to talk to the orphans, since they aren't bad people, so donning the Muramasa armor, she tells Victor and Deathstrike to leave the building quietly while Darken, Gabby, and Logan hide. Going and finding all of the orphans, Laura is immediately attacked, but the bullets just bounce off her soul armor. Confronting Amber, Laura tells her and the rest that she knows who they all are. Removing the armor, Laura says she has been hurt by what she does as well, forced to do things against her will. She says she won't apologize for being enslaved and that that made her do what she did. She calls to Henry, knowing he is one of the masked people, asking him to confirm everything about her and how his own father made her kill Amber's father and many more. Henry shows himself shooting Laura in the gut, but that doesn't stop Laura, who says that she knows how Henry feels. Henry doesn't care, unloading his gun into Laura. Laura says that he is wrong about them and about her, since if he was right, Logan, Gabby, and Darkin, who were disguised in the crowd, would have killed them all in an instant, but they didn't. Laura says that she wants to join them and help them track down every person who paid for her services when she was enslaved, and while she won't kill them, they will face punishment for what they did. Given an orphan's mask by Logan, Laura tells Amber that they are like her and they are victims of a corrupt system, and that makes her an orphan of X. Later on, Amber says that the orphans voted and agreed to let Laura and the others join them. Darkin wonders that if they cloned Sarah Kinney, they must have the original body, and if so, he wants it, since his sister has had to watch her mother die twice and never got any closure. Later on, Laura finally gets some closure thanks to a funeral held for her mother. All New Wolverine issue 30 was a really fantastic ending to the huge Orphans of X storyline that had really cool and interesting closure to the war between mutants and this new organization. The story arc has some real stakes for our characters and brought some real concrete changes to them, and I am excited to see what Tom Taylor has in store for the fallout of these changes. He really weaved a compelling, action-packed story full of heart throughout this story. I'm going to give this issue a 9 out of 10. Hey everyone, thanks for watching my newest video. If you enjoyed it, you might also like to check out my other reviews here on my channel. You can also follow me on various social media platforms like Twitter by searching Matt underscore FOS, or even join the Comic Multiverse Discord server and chat with other comic book fans, including myself and Joel from Cape Joel. Want cheap comics and trades? Head over to the book depository with the link in the description to get the cheapest trades and comics around, along with free shipping anywhere in the world. Until next time, this has been Matt of the Fortress of Solitude, thank you so much for watching.